the sugar berry. <laughs> hey, it's Vivian J, and welcome back, Glitter Angels. Hola chicos, ¿cómo estás? Yo soy Vivian. Bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. 안녕하세요, 저는 Vivian입니다. Welcome to World of Awesome and Mochi Hug. So, for today's video, since I have not done a hashtag Ask Vivian where I answered your guys' questions, so I thought it'd be fun if I did another one of these videos. If you have not seen my previous hashtag Ask Vivian videos, I'll link a playlist down in the description below so you could check them out. And without further ado, let's just get started! Havana. For the questions, they are all on my phone, and I'm just going to start reading them. Here we go. The first question I was asked, who's my favorite high school teacher? Hmm. And here's my answer. My choir teachers are my absolute favorite. And I also like my Spanish teacher. They're, they're all really, really nice. Muy simpatico. Now for the next question, where was your first concert? My first concert was in Chicago. If you have not seen my first concert vlog, I'll be sure to leave it in the description below. You can also check out the video on my channel. It's still there. My first concert that I went to was the Maddie B concert in Chicago at the Vic Theater. That was my first one. It was really awesome and I'll eventually be going to another one this year. And the next question, who would you want to have a conversation with? Pick one person for dinner, another for dessert. I would have to say, if I were to have a conversation with someone, I would have to choose... Oh gosh, this is a hard decision. I don't know if I would want to choose uh, people from WK Pop or Ladies First or whoever. Well, for dinner, I would like to have a conversation with Dolly from WK Pop. And for dessert, for another person, I would want to pick Zanae. So I'd pick the two ladies from WK Pop. It's pretty much Dolly and Zanae. Who would you like to learn a dance from and what dance? I'm not gonna lie, I have learned a lot of dances in the past, but if I were to pick one. I pretty much would want to learn a dance from one of the Palms girls at my high school. If possible, I could learn some of their stuff. I pretty much would want to learn a dance from either JV Palms or Varsity Palms. And who would I want to interview if I was given the chance to? Oh, this is a, this is a big decision, you guys, because uh, I've interviewed a lot of people on this channel before. I don't know if this person is referring to a celebrity or a person you know. Um, for person-wise, I would want to interview my friends, I would say. But for celebrity-wise, I would want to interview... I think it's time that I would have to tell you who. And that is... Taehyun and Momo from TWICE. Aren't they adorable? That's who I'd interview for celebrity-wise, but for people in general, or people who I know, I would, of course, want to interview people who have never been featured in my videos before. Where would you be surprised to run into a bias? Well, to be honest, I would be really surprised if BTS, Blackpink, TWICE, or any K-pop group came to Chicago for a concert. I'd be like, Oh my god, and just be acting like a real fangirl. I would be so shocked if a, a favorite member from my favorite K-pop group came to Chicago. I'd be like, well gosh, I'm so happy you came here to visit. I would literally be crying tears of joy if that happened for real. If, even if I see K-pop groups in real life, I would just be like, oh my god. I'd be full of excitement. Everyone has asked me this. People in general have been wondering, how am I doing? Well, I've been pretty good. Tired, but still there. Hashtag rise and grind. Along with that question, a lot of you are probably asking, how am I balancing school with the YouTube and performing? Since I'm almost done with my sophomore year of high school, between school and 
my interests. I always have to get a lot of stuff done for school and then I transition into my interests and hobbies and everything. In terms of school-wise, it's been tough like trying really hard to get good grades in my classes. It's a lot of hard work but it's still really amazing and don't worry, I'll still be filming a lot of content for you guys. It's a part of what I love to do. Don't let negativity stop you from doing the thing you love. And speaking of performing, I'm excited to announce that I'll be in my high school play Winnie the Pooh this year. And I cannot believe it is coming up literally in about a few weeks and I'm so 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 excited to perform it along with the other people that will be in it this year. Even though I'm not one of the like important character characters in the play, I'm one of the animals, and you may not already know. Winnie the Pooh play is going to occur around April 25th all the way to April 27th. It's gonna be so so fun. I will be performing in front of you guys again. I hope to see you there. They didn't really give us the information about tickets or time or anything. It's not figured out right now yet. Eventually, as we get closer to the dates, I'll let you know when the Winnie the Pooh shows are going to occur. Also, I've been asked uh, what are the pros and cons of being a sophomore in high school. In my preference, uh, pros is that you're more experienced in high school and you're not a freshman anymore, but the cons is uh, balancing schoolwork and activities at the same time. It's really, really tough, like any other school year. It could be hard to balance life and school in general. Even when I will be entering junior year next year, it's gonna be a lot harder than this year. I gotta admit, sophomore and junior year are both equally hard, but junior year is more harder. Eventually, I'm, I'm still there. I'm getting there. Don't worry, I'm a warrior. Next question. Am I still doing Korean dance? As a matter of fact, I'm still doing it. Yes. Speaking of that, there will be a performance coming up soon, but I don't know the details yet. Again, I'll be sure to let you know about that. If it, there's a performance uh, that will be happening in about a few weeks or so, I'll be sure to notify you ahead of time. I'll give you the details about the performance, and I hope to see you there. Um, any thoughts about PSAT testing. Since PSAT testing is almost here, I gotta admit I'm really really anxious like any high schooler. I'm hoping that I would do my best and who knows, maybe I might be well tested, but I don't really know. In, the, in this case I don't know the possible outcomes. It could either go really good or not so good. You guys have also asked me if I could do an ASMR video. To be honest, I'm not sure how to do those yet, but eventually once I've come up with like ideas about like satisfying sounds and everything for ASMR, I could probably do those in the future. You could let me know down below. It's not just me who needs to make all the decisions. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. How am I learning Japanese? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, I've been learning Japanese uh, on the apps, two apps called Mango and Duolingo. You could download those two apps for free on the App Store. So what got me interested into learning Japanese was that I first met Maddie, who's now one of the WK Pop dance coaches. And it, it was her first time teaching a dance, and it was my first time learning a dance from her. She told me that she speaks Japanese because she's been learning Japanese and when she was in college. And I go, wow, that's really interesting. Maybe I'd learn that language too someday. So what I basically did was that I took out a empty notebook that had no writing, and I st started like writing some Japanese phrases just by following along the Japanese texts. The way I started was uh, I started writing out the uh, vowel sounds 
like how they sound, and also some like basic phrases like how to say hello or how are you. Two phrases that I first started with was konnichiwa, which means hello, and um, genki desu ka, which means how are you. If you'd like me to do a little Japanese tutorial, I could do that for you guys as well in the future. You guys have also been asking me why do I want to become like multilingual, a person who's able to speak more than two languages. Not only I have been wanting to learn Korean, but also Spanish and Japanese. The reason why I wanted to become multilingual was that so I could talk to a lot more people who are different, so that way I could like speak it in their language. If you get what I'm saying, like, for example, if someone knows how to talk in Spanish, then I could speak a little Spanish. Like I'd say something like, Hola, como estas? Estoy bien. But what's really funny though is that the people in my Spanish class were like, why are you so good at Spanish? And I'm like, well, <laughs> well, to be honest, I don't know how to explain this, but the truth is that I got into Spanish more because of Miss Amato, one of our world cast members. Yes, she taught me a few phrases before in Spanish and then she advised me to take Spanish in high school and so I did. And I started to learn more and more Spanish words and phrases as I started getting more interested in the class. I now feel like I'm a pro at it now. <laughs> Even though it was my first year and I've never done Spanish throughout my years at junior high. If you'd like me to do a video where I'm speaking only in Spanish, I can try that as well. You could let me know down below. So that was it for the hashtag AskVivian number 11. I hope you all enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and be sure to share with your friends. I love you all to the moon and back and I will see you later. Have a great day everyone. Toodles. Mwah. Annyeong.